Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Jimmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life, and I'm continuing to give you a whole bunch of movie reviews. Uh, over the last few days, I've watched a lot of movies, but didn't have time to review uh, due to the fact that my little brother Keith was here uh, visiting with me, and uh, whenever he's here, I like to spend time with him. Um, he also likes to use my tablet, so I'm not able to do my movie reviews, but uh, I'm glad I'm able to uh, bring them to you guys now. Uh, there will be several more coming out here real shortly, so I uh, look forward to those as well. But my next movie review is the movie Chloe, which was released on March 26, 2010. It is an erotic thriller that um, received mixed reviews with critics. Uh, Roger Ebert in the Chicago Sun-Times gave it 3.5 out of 4 stars. It has a 6.3 out of 10 on IMDb, a 51% on Rotten Tomatoes. It had a $14 million budget, but only brought back $11.7 million at the box office. And it was directed by Anton Eaglin and written by Aaron C. Wilson. It is a remake of the French film Natalia. And it stars Julianne Moore. Liam Neeson, Amanda Seyfried, Max Terriot, and R.H. Thompson. Basically centers around three main characters, Chloe, uh, Dave Stewart, and Dr. Catherine Stewart. Um, Dr. Catherine Stewart, played by Julian Moore, suspects that her husband, husband is being unfaithful, and so she hires a call girl, Chloe, played by Amanda Seyfried, to basically check it out to see if he takes the bait. And that's what this movie's about. Um, Chloe ends up becoming the uh, center of this movie because not only is she trying to seduce uh, her husband, she ends up doing a couple other things in this movie that I'm not going to say what she does, but it's very interesting, uh, to say the least. But uh, this movie... Is really good to the fact that I love Amanda Seyfried in this movie. Chloe, her character is excellent. She is uh, conniving, uh, just a real dirty down player. And uh, what else can I say? She's manipulative, uh, but just irresistible. And uh, this movie. Yeah, it has everything you want when it comes to an erotic thriller. And I love Julianne Moore. I, oh, my Lord. Uh, ever since I've seen her in um, uh, Boogie Nights and several of her earlier roles, I've loved her ever since. One of my, my favorite film of hers uh, to this day is Still Alice. Uh, she did Excellent job in that movie. That's from 2014. Definitely check that movie out. But she's great in this movie. Uh, Liam Neeson, top notch. Uh, and then, like I said, Amanda Seyfried playing Chloe is phenomenal. She's she's a knockout. Well, I'm just going to put it that way. Uh, but outside that, I found this movie really entertaining. Um, the whole thrill part wasn't quite what I was expecting. But for what it was and what I got, I enjoyed it. I, I really didn't see no flaws with this movie except the fact that I want a little bit more uh, suspense and thrills with this movie. But other than that, I loved it. And so I'm going to give Chloe a 10 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So definitely check this movie out if you haven't seen it. Um, uh, I love these movies. I love... The whole lying, cheating, suspecting of uh, one another, and uh, especially if there's a third party getting involved, it's just fun to watch. But other than that, I thank you guys for watching this movie review. Uh, in the comment section below, if you've seen this movie, give me your thoughts and opinions, and let me know uh, what are some of your favorite Liam Neeson movies. I know I've asked you guys, you know, what's your favorite Julian Moore movies. Even give me some of your favorite Amanda Seyfried movies uh, in the comment section below. Uh, but as always, I thank each and every one of you for watching my channel, my movie reviews, and everything. 
And if you're new, like I said, subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. And other than that, I thank you for watching and check you later.